Yeah, guys, uh, right now, Galnick, uh, who lives here, is being held under armed guard still at the hospital. He's being given mental health treatment. The police are working to figure out if he will be arraigned on multiple criminal charges from his hospital room or from a courtroom. Police executed a search warrant Tuesday here on Grove Street in Southington, where 74-year-old Douglas Floyd Galnick lives above the garage. He's also a landlord. He owns the, the multifamily across the house. Neighbor Nicholas Ajeli's stepfather also owns the Palumbo service station, identified as the newest location in Southington Galnick targeted with dozens of 22 caliber rifle rounds. Just worked on his car a few weeks ago and his was one of the shops that got shot up. Ron Ness of Southington was having dinner with his family while just a street away, according to police, Galnick started shooting his seven targets over a span of about three hours. In this day and age, we know that a lot of things happen that are crazy. We see it all the time that at uh, some moment, someone just loses it and, uh, and uh, goes out and does uh, the most uh, horrible things that, that can possibly be done. Cromwell police confirmed Tuesday that Galnick is suspected of shooting up the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints, where he was a member. You can see the bullet holes and the damage. He also shot up this affiliated Mormon church in Southington. Some of these connections go back 20 years and people haven't seen them. Also new Tuesday, Bristol police confirmed they suspect Galnick shot up the Crowley RV dealership on Barber Street. It's a matter of getting the forensics done in all of them. So at this point, we've collected bullets and shell casings from most of them. And, uh, you know, the investigation goes on. And despite those church shootings, police tell me that at this time they are not going to be pursuing any hate crime charges. Galnick does not have any previous criminal history. He was finally arrested after a vehicle chase when he crashed on the Aragoni Bridge in Middletown. We're live here in Southington. Matt Karen, Fox 61 News.